Hi there, I'm Andy Larson. I'm the Motion Control Product Manager for the Cross Automation Group here in Belmont, North Carolina. Today I have Andrew Abernathy with me. Andrew is part of our marketing department and he has been helping us out on the release of a new product offering, Universal Robots. Universal is a game-changing technology that is going to enable people to program robots that haven't ever programmed one before. Uh, they have a teach mode capability that literally makes it possible for somebody that doesn't have any programming experience to be able to get one of these up and running within minutes. Uh, the video that you're going to see following this actually is of Andrew learning this as we went along. There wasn't any prep ahead of time. Uh, it was actually on the fly. Yeah. Right, Andrew? Yep. Have you had any experience programming robots I have before? Zero experience with robots. Okay. Are you an engineer? I am not an engineer. All right. You have a marketing degree? Yes. Okay. So there you go, guys. Uh, a marketing guy can program it, so can you. Thank you very much. Okay. So we're going to start with an empty program. Okay. From here, what we're going to do is, you know, this gives you some basics on how to navigate through it. Here's your next and previous mm -hmm. buttons. Now, so what we're going to do is go ahead and click next. Okay. We're going to start building our program. Okay. So click structure. This, and we'll kind of give you a brief run through of what's here. The main things that you're going to be using are going to be the structure tab and the command tab. Okay. Move sets up a single move or a series of moves. The waypoint is the actual point in space that you are programmed. Wait gives you the ability to uh, wait for an action to happen. If you want, you can set up that action. The I.O. action, the inputs and outputs of this that you could tie to the rest of the machine, that gives you places to be able to set that up. The rest of these we won't really worry about for now. Uh, the command tab, you know, this once we set up, one of those um, commands here, mm -hmm. then the command tab is what we'll navigate to to be able to manipulate that command. Okay, sure. so you're really just going to be toggling back and forth between these two things. If you feel like you should be doing something next and you can't see the logical place to go to, go to the other tab, then that's probably where you need to be. Okay? All right. So starting out, what we're going to do is, is create a move. So go ahead, select that. You can see over here in your program tree that it set up a move J. J means, uh, signifies joint. Okay. okay. So each one of these is a joint on the robot and they can be moved individually or in concert with one another. So from here, what we're going to do is uh, create a waypoint. All right. So that's going to be a point in space that we want the robot to be able to go to. So go ahead and select waypoint. Uh, so we're going to create this waypoint here. Uh, then you're going to switch over to the command and we're going to set this waypoint. We could use this particular position. Uh, we could jog all of these axes into different positions or you can manually drag the robot where you want it to go. On the back of the teach pendant is a button. Okay, So you've got a button right here. That is the release that allows you to freely move the robot around. So for this exercise, the easiest thing for us to do is just drag this around. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is uh, push that button Okay. Do I have to hold you, it? You do have to hold okay. it. And this is kind of the tricky part. So go ahead and just drag this over so that it's in the middle of these two cups. Okay. You know, kind of get the, the joint so this is you know, straight up and down. Now, one of the things that you have to remember when you're teaching moves, and in particular if you're going to be using the joint command, is as this moves through it, you know, you could start from here and go straight down into this cup but you always have to be conscious of where your end effector actually is. So it's better to err on the side of having too many waypoints than too few. Okay. okay. Uh, for instance, if we get down in the middle of this cup or we get down to the edge of it or we're already in it for even better and we just want to go back up to this spot, we could end up running into the edge of the cup. Okay. So, so simply what you just explained is the difference of just going over and then down as opposed to just 
straight into straight the into it. Yeah. So in, in the industrial world, you know, you can optimize moves to remove time and things like this. Mm -hmm. But but this is really you know, very simple. So just keep that in mind as you go. So click OK. So that has selected uh, the position for your first waypoint. We'll call that home, for instance. You could go in here okay. and change. And it, once you, it's set, it shows green? Yes, okay. exactly. So we're going to uh, go to our, the next waypoint. Okay. Uh, set this command. So go ahead and drag this over to where the stylus is right up above. Yep, yep. That's all right. Go ahead. Again, that's kind of the, the difficult point. Okay. And go ahead and pull it so that it's uh, you know, down maybe halfway towards the cup. All right. Okay. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Hit OK. There you go. Uh, then we're going to create another waypoint. So you can go back to, very good, structure tab. See, you've already got this figured out. So you pick this, that, go back to command. You're picking this up faster than I did. All right, so click your button, drag it down. Okay, there you go. Okay, that looks about right. Click OK. All right, back to structure. And you wanted to reset up in the middle? Yeah, I would go ahead and bring it back up outside the cup just mm -hmm. a little bit and use that as a starting point to, to yeah. come back over. That way we don't have to worry about running into the, the edge of the, the cup. I'd bring it back down closer. That way we don't the joints won't try to take it through the wall of that stuff. So it's probably right. about there should be safe. Okay. All right. So set this waypoint, click OK. Mm -hmm. Structure, waypoint. So from here, we're going to start traversing over here. So I'd recommend go ahead and kind of yeah, act, act like there is some uh, object that we have to jump this over the good. top of here. So go ahead and drag this back up to the middle. Good. That's perfect. Yeah. It's a little easier to move it on this side. Yeah, yeah, you're not reaching over the table. Wouldn't go too far down into the cup because again, I'm just, I was just trying to okay, straighten there you it out go. So All right. level. Okay. So, well, the point before that we had, do you think that uh, the end uh, is it going to go try to go through the cup? So I'd, I'd go ahead and bring it just to the top of the cup and then uh, and then go down. An automation rookie here. And that's all right. There you go. Now we go down. Now we go down. Ding. There you go. Okay. All right. And one more waypoint to bring it back up. Okay. Then we can the last one just be a. Uh, well, actually, we just go back up. Yeah, to actually, started, then yeah. then the mode that it's in right now is a constant loop, so it's going to go back to your starting position. All right. Let's. See what happens. Fire it up and we'll see, see, what if I, see okay. if I break it. All right. Or not. So what we're going to do? This is your program. All You've right. got all of your different waypoints there. Now, if we wanted to be able to turn on an input or an output uh, to select, you know, with, let's, this is a vacuum gripper. So if we actually had this vacuum gripper pointed down, the vacuum hooked up to it. Mm -hmm. When you got down here, we would fire an output that says pick up. So the vacuum would start. It would hold that till you got over to the place position. You would release that. Uh, that output to turn off, it would drop the part, and then you could go back and forth. That's a very okay. simple process as well. Let's hit this play button. So go ahead and push play. Okay, now it's going to ask you to put uh, push the auto to be able to get this back to its home position okay. or to the first position. So you're going to have to hold it down. 
to get it there. This is a safety feature. In case you're starting to run into something, yeah. you can release and away you go. Click OK. Now push play again. Yep. I think that was because we had got off a little bit on our... Yeah, that one was much smoother, this yeah. side. That's all right. <laughs> now we move the cup just a little bit, or the base. Yeah. So. But you have programmed a robot to do a simple Woo. pick and place application. So <laughs> congratulations. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. See you later, robot. Slap it. Dip. Shooters. Pound. Boom.